Hello everyone, I'm Chris Parisi. I'm the product manager for the Citra Pack here at Bosch Rexroth. And today I'm gonna to show you how to commission a Citra Pack. So before you start, you need to make sure you have the, the permissives, uh, basically any kind of hydraulic hosing and wiring plugged into your unit before you start. So right here, we have the tubing connected from the P port of the pump with a variable orifice here to tank. So this is gonna be used in this demonstration to be able to create back pressure to actually close the loop on pressure with the Citra Pack. Along with that, I have the wiring here in the back plugged in. Uh, so starting from the top, I have 14X1. So this is the commissioning cable that is then plugged into the USB of my PC. So this is how we're gonna be initially commissioning it through Ingeworks DS. Next, I have 15X1. So this is providing the 24 volt power to power the IO along with any of the sensors on the Citra Pack. Uh, along with that, I have 22X1. Uh, it's jumpered here, but what this means is that this is the safe torque off. For this demonstration, we won't be needing that, but normally this would be wired into your machine. Along with that, I have 21X1 plugged in. Uh, for the next part of the video, I will be showing you how to use it via multi-Ethernet. And then finally, in 12X1, I have uh, the 40 volts AC power to actually power the Citra Pack. So before we start, we need to make sure that you have 40 volts AC power to your unit along with your 24 volts. So what I have here is our a Citra Pack test box that's just gonna provide 24 volts along with any of the digital inputs needed to run the Citra Pack. So I'm gonna turn on the power here. So as we see in our, on our Citra Pack, um, it's flickering red and yellow, so it does see a fault right now. So uh, from your 24 volt IO, you can then initially clear it. So it's gonna come in on the acknowledge fault pin. So once you do that, you're ready to then start using Ingeworks DS. So now I'm gonna go through Ingeworks DS and show you how to plug in and start it up. So we're gonna go through and open up Ingeworks DS. So this is a free software, by the way, that is available on, on Bosch Rexroth's website. Uh, see a link in the description below to have the link to then install it on your PC. So when we first open up Ingeworks, uh, we're then prompted to select connection. Uh, you're going to be one, you're going to be under serial interface and your interface, you're going to be looking for XFC, which this is the variable frequency drive that is built inside of every single Citra pack. So once you see this in your interface, you're good to go. You're going to click connect. So once you click connect, you're going to then be given the Ingeworks DS screens. And there are many different screens, but the only one we're going to focus on today is Citronics. So we're going to select FCP 5020. So for this demonstration, we are just going to enable the Citra Pack to go to a fixed pressure and fixed flow. So we're going to start by clicking communication input here on the left, right? Uh, we're going to then go into pressure command source, pressure command. So right now, we want to be set to a fixed value, and we can configure this fixed value to whatever you need it to do. In this case, we're going to do just 20 bar. So then we're good there. Back to overview, communication input. Next, we're going to go to flow command source. So we're also going to do this as a fixed value. And in this case, we're only going to do 1,000 RPM. Back to overview. And then finally, for this demonstration, we're just going to enable the Citra Pack via 24 volt IO. So what this means is when I give it a 24 volt enable input, it's then going to turn on the Citra Pack to spin at a fixed flow up to a certain, up to the 20 bar pressure set point. Once it gets to this set point, it's then going to spin at the minimum RPM to maintain that pressure. So now what I'm going to do is enable the Citra Pack. So as you can hear, you can hear it now, it's actually pumping the oil from here back to the tank. So that's all it took just to get the Citra Pack to run. So now as I go and actually change our orifice here, you can hear it start to build pressure. So once it starts to build pressure, as it starts getting close to the 20 bar set point, you hear it start to spin down. All it's trying to do is it closes the loop on pressure, trying to maintain that 20 bar set point. So it'll spin as fast as it needs to, to maintain that. So that's all it takes to get the Citra Pack to work with a fixed pressure and fixed flow. So stay tuned for part two of this video on how to get the Citra Pack to run over multi ethernet with your PLC.
All right, for this part, we're now going to commission the Citropack doing multi Ethernet communication uh, with an Allen Bradley PLC via Ethernet IP. So, to begin, I'm going to go back to Ingeworks DS and step you through the configuration of the settings to set up the Ethernet communication. And then I'm going to step you through uh, the logic software to actually implement the communication in your PLC. So, we're going to go back to Ingeworks DS. So, we're going to select serial. Our interface here is XFC. COM5, connect. All right, so first we want to make sure we go into master communication, basic settings. We want to make sure that we're, we have Ethernet IP selected. We also make sure that our IP address, the 192.168.1.20, so this is going to be the, the IP address required for the generic Ethernet IP module in your program. So I will show this later. So now that we have that set up, you'll also need to make sure to reboot prior to that to make sure that it actually uh, sticks the setting. So we're going to go back to Citronics now, the FCP5020. Start with communication input. So our pressure command, we're going to do over master communication. Back to overview, communication input, flow command, also over master communication. And then finally, our run command is also going to come over master communication. So now that we have that set up, we're ready, we're ready to go uh, to communicate via the program. So now I'm going to open up Control Logics, Logic Designer. So what I'm going to be using to actually do the communication is a AOI designed by Bosch Rekshoff for the FCP5020. So this is available to download on our website. So to implement the AOI, you're going to open up your program. First, you're going to actually import the add-on instructions, and it's going to be AB EIP FCP 5020. So once you do that, under wherever your PLC is in your program, you're actually going to, you're going to import an Ethernet module. You can call it whatever you want. In this case, I called it Citropack. The way you have it configured, you're going to have your IP address set to the same one as set in Ingeworks DS. And these are the connection parameters required to actually send data back and forth. Well, before we go online, we need to make sure that we are actually connected via multi Ethernet. So I have to connect my Ethernet cable. So now we're online and we're in run. So what I have here, I have the AOI imported just into the main routine. So to actually use the AOI, you need to have it enabled. You need to have master slave set to one, parameter group set to one. And in this case, I'm going to do the same pressure command of 20 bar and volume flow of 1,000 that I did in the previous part. So now once I go to enable the drive, it will then start up the Citra pack as I did in the first part. But now we have direct command of it via your PLC. So you can also change the speed. or change the pressure for whatever part of the cycle you need it to do. And it will react the same way that you did with doing the fixed pressure and fixed flow command. That's everything you need to do to get the Citropack set up on a multi-Ethernet using Ethernet IP with Alan Bradley. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you need more information, uh, my contact information will be uh, in the description below, and also will be on the website of boschrekshoff.com. Thank you.